Hello, dear ones. Once again, um, you may recall that the last time I spoke uh, with you, I mentioned that God took a people out of Egypt, known as Israel, of course, and he wanted them to go a three days journey uh, out into the wilderness. And once they got there, they were to conduct this worship service, this gathered corporate worship service. And, and you might think, well, you know, I, I don't need to be a part of a gathered group to worship. I can worship on my own. And you're right. And I hope you have and I hope you are. But folks, if that's all that God intended, he could have left Israel in Egypt and every individual Jew could have worshiped on their own. But he wanted something else. He wanted something bigger. He wanted a gathered corporate worship service. And that's what the church does, gathering God's people to worship together. Well, okay, Dr. Young, uh, I mean, could you, could you tell me just a little bit, what, 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 do you, what do you mean when you say worship? Well, let me see if I can define that and do so real quickly. Gang, do you remember the story that's found in Genesis chapter 4 about Cain and Abel? You remember? They're both sons of Adam and Eve, and, and Cain ultimately kills his brother because he's jealous of him. Well, the thing that prompted the jealousy was something that they did in a worship service. They both brought offerings, you recall, and Cain brought the, the vegetables and, and Abel brought um, an animal sacrifice. Well, I don't want to talk about that just now. Here's what I want you to hear. They both went to a place and they both brought something. You see, guys, uh, only one of their sacrifices was acceptable, but they both brought something. Because, you see, worship is not so much what you get, but what you give. Guys, people will come up to me after a, a sermon and they'll, they'll say things like, well, Dr. Young, you know, <laughs> I really got a lot out of your sermon this morning. And, you know, <laughs> I, I, I guess I'm glad about that. I'm glad you got something. But the real issue is not what you got. The real issue is what you brought, what you gave. When you came to this worship service, did you give confession of sin? Or perhaps Thanksgiving? Or perhaps praise. Or perhaps you brought a check of all the mundane things. But ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, worship is not what you get. If we could just get beyond this consumer mentality of what I got, because worship is something that you bring, something that you give, that is the essence of worship. We'll talk more later on. God's people were not given the option of choosing their own place. They couldn't choose their den or their kitchen or their family room or their living room. No, no. I was intended, I was meant to go to a place where God chooses and meet with God's gathered people. <laughs> well, in the New Testament, that place is called the church.